Hey guys, welcome to the Fightage channel. Friends, before starting to watch this video, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. I really want to get 10,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. It's so close, thanks for supporting me, guys. As expected, former United Heavyweight World Champion Anthony Joshua will return to the ring in a fight against American Jermaine Franklin. The promotional company Matchroom Boxing, representing the interests of the star Britain, officially announced his fight with Franklin. The fight will take place on April 1st at the O2 Arena in London. Jermaine Franklin will also try to close the defeat. In November 2022, he lost by a majority decision to Dylan White, but gave a high-quality performance with an ex-contender for the title, thanks to which he got the chance to fight Joshua. Former World Heavyweight Champion Britain Anthony Joshua commented on the announcement of his fight with American Jermaine Franklin. AJ admitted that he wants to win this fight. Bradley in order to surprise the fans, and especially his new coach Derek James. I'm looking forward to getting back in the ring on April 1st. Mentally and physically, I feel ready. I want to put on a show and impress my coach, because he has very high standards. Franklin has a good style and a great attitude. He has demonstrated this in recent battles. This will be my first broadcast on Dazn in the United Kingdom and it will also be available on the platform worldwide. I want to thank Dazn for supporting me, and boxing in general. I would also like to thank my team and the matchroom boxing, Joshua said. Friends, before starting to watch this video, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. If you really enjoy the content, then please, subscribe to my channel and keep watching the videos. If you are subscribed, then receive notifications about the release of new videos. You do not even have to look for anything personally. I really want to get 10,000 subscribers on my channel. I'm trying very hard absolutely every day and I need your support. Your likes, comments, reposts to social networks. Thanks for supporting me, guys. As you heard, Joshua is still one of the top 3 heavyweights in the world and is able to regain his titles. And the Hearn representing the interest of former WBA, WBO, IBF, IBO heavyweight title holder Anthony Joshua, short his future plans for the British boxer's career. This guy is still very dangerous, very motivated. Anthony is still one of the top three heavyweights in the world and is capable of regaining his titles, Hearn said. Francis Nagano may fight Joshua in the summer of this year. The head of the match in boxing, Katie Hearn, say that he intends to organize a fight between former heavyweight boxing world champion Anthony Joshua and former UFC champion Francis Ngannou. I have already talked to Ngannou. Anthony will return to the ring on the 1st of April, and we could have a fight with Francis in the summer. It's going to be a huge event, Hearn said in an interview. Nagano defeated Cyril Gann by unanimous decision at the last fight, in January 2022. The 36-year-old Francis has 17 victories and 3 defeats in mixed martial arts. Michael Bisping Nagano can knock out Joshua Former UFC champion MMA analyst Michael Bisping spoke about the possible fight between the former heavyweight title holder of this promotion Francis Nagano and Anthony Joshua. Francis Nagano can knock out AJ. It's not so unlikely, even thought Francis would be an underdog. Yes, he would definitely be an underdog. Anthony Joshua would be a clear favorite in this fight, Bisping said. Therefore, it cannot be said that Tyson Fury is in a losing state because of Joshua's medial appeal. The same this is was confirmed by Joshua's promoter Eddie Hearn. It's about a fight between Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury. The reality is that Anthony Joshua is still probably the biggest thing in boxing. Anthony's fight against Tyson Fury is still five times bigger. It's a reality. By the way, people want to see Joshua vs Fury fight, Hiron said. Next came calls for Fury to sign a contract for the fight. He offered his compatriot a generous distribution of fees, 16-40%. So that he definitely didn't think of driving. Joshua's side accepted this offer, but then there was a stumbling block. Oddly enough, this is not a TV show. Joshua fights on Dazn, Fury on ESPN, which was immediately closed. This is the date of the meeting. This is not the first attempt to organize this meeting. Plus, time Dante Wilder intervened in the organization of the fight for the Absolute Championship. 
who was able to defend in court their right to receive punches from Fury for the third time. There are no obvious obstacles between them now. We will monitor the development of events. Former Royal Heavyweight Champion Dante Wilder plans to enter the ring in March this year, but has not yet decided on an opponent. The coach of the 37-year-old American Malik Scott said. According to him, another ex-world champion Anthony Joshua has abandoned plans to fight against Wilder, and most likely Wilder will hold a qualifying fight according to the WBC version against ex-world champion Andy Ruiz. However, there may be a chance to hold a larger fight. It seemed like there might be a fight between Dante and Joshua. But now we hear that Joshua and his team have chosen a different path, Scott said in an interview. And since Joshua has made a decision and doesn't want to fight Dante in the next fight, it comes down to Andy Ruiz and someone else. It looks like it's going to be Ruiz, but Dante is a big name. And is it is not sad to hear some? When you are a big name, qualifying fights mean little. We could have a fight in March or early April. But it all depends on the opponent, Scott added. The only thing I can say now is that the fight with Andy Ruiz is a qualifying fight. But Dante is a big name, and when there is such a famous fighter as Dante, and there is some time with the qualifying fight, a duel against a more famous boxer is possible. Then it is possible to postpone the qualifying fight. Business is ready to participate in organization big fights, Malik Scott said. WBC heavyweight champion Tyson Fury believes his brother Tommy Fury will wear down and knock out Jake Paul in the late rounds. I don't think the fight will be quick. I think he will wear him out. It's 8th rounds, so I think Tommy will be able to wear him down and knock him out in the last rounds. As soon as Tommy hits him a few hard punches, I want to see what Jake Paul is made of. Because when Tommy hits me hard and puts on a big clothes, it hurts me. I know that Jake is not as strong as me and not as big as me, so he will definitely feel pain, and not a little," Fury said. Jake Paul's fight with Tommy Fury will take place on February 26 in Saudi Arabia. Jake Paul had his last fight with former UFC middleweight champion Anderson Silva in October last year, and won by unanimous decision. In total, he has 6 fights and 6 victories. Had you heard a promoter of former world heavyweight champion Anthony Joshua react to the discontent of Dylan White, who in a harsh manner criticized at AJ's fight against his ex-rival Jermaine Franklin. White had a very close fight with Jermaine Franklin. It was a duel that, as it seemed to many, could develop in any direction. We are open for a fight with Dylan White this summer. Joshua has chosen an opponent for the next fight. And this fight will be announced on Monday. Joshua doesn't have to fight three times in this year, but we are planning on it. When a fight in April, the second in July, or early August, and the third in December. Probably all of them will take place in the United Kingdom. We want a stadium fight in the summer. So Dylan White is a right for him, Hiron said. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I really want to get 10,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel.